President Uhuru Kenyatta has directed all government ministries and agencies to draft a strategy that will identify threats to national security and recommend appropriate actions. Uhuru cautioned that a large number of idle and frustrated youth could pose a security threat, especially if drawn to ideologies that undermine the legitimacy of the state. Patrick Amimo has the details. This was a high-level seminar on national security strategy that was organized by the Ministry of Defense. In attendance were top security chiefs, cabinet secretaries, and other top government officials. The president said failure to invest in young people through building their capacities and empowering them to have a livelihood would be a threat to security. If not well managed, a large number of idle, frustrated youth pose significant risk for the survival of the state. They can be drawn to ideologies that undermine the legitimacy of the state and can be used to destroy our democratic dispensation. President Uhuru told the government officials that politicization of security could pose threat to national security. He criticized a section of the opposition that has called for the withdrawal of Kenyan troops from Somalia. You will have observed that even on clear national security issues, such as fighting terrorism or our Amisom deployment in Somalia, there are politicians willing to undermine these efforts for the sake of short-term expediency. The government has been critical of some civil societies for allegedly derailing its agenda and pushing for foreign interests. Consequently, there are attempts to cap foreign funding to non-governmental organizations at 15%. However, some stakeholders in the NGO sector have asked the government to withdraw the proposed amendments to Public Benefit Organizations Act. The government wants any NGO that receives funding above 15% to register as a foreign agency. But a large section of the most vocal civil society is hopelessly dependent on foreign funding, particularly from governments with interests that may conflict with our national security. How can the state's pursuit of national security be protected from actors that may be drivers for other agendas? Meanwhile, in Kisauni, Mombasa County, a group of youth have taken over running of mosques from imams they consider to be moderate. Today, there was tension in Kisauni, and many business premises remained closed for fear of chaos. This followed reports that police will restore the imam of Masjid so far, Hassan Jumba Rashid, to continue preaching at the mosque after he was evicted by radical youth. However, worshippers left peacefully after the Friday prayers. <laughs> Nimeona kwamba ile dawa yao pengine ipo iko kinyume na serikali nikajiona mimi ni mtu mzima sijengajitia kwenye matatizo ya serikali mambo ya misikiti ni bora serikali ijadili iwaambie watu kama subke wapate kuzungumza na vijana haya si mambo ya polisi na kutumia nguvu katika misikiti yetu the inspector general of police david kimayo has warned that the government will not allow radical youth to take over mosques patrick amimo ktn